what's up my name is technoba here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video today's video is sponsored by hudside not only was i given a key on steam but i was also paid to create a guide on the software my opinion is entirely my own this is a follow-up to my previous complete guide and will run through new features in more depth hudside is a super easy to use software to add a custom crosshair overlay onto your game play games in windowed, windowed boardless, or even full screen mode and still have a custom crosshair overlay, something not a lot of programs can offer. This program creates an overlay on top of your game window with a repositionable crosshair on it that you can customize to your heart's content. And the latest updates make that even easier and better. It's an amazing piece of software created by the same people who made the recording software Playclaw. If you haven't heard of one, you've likely heard of the other. This video will cover both the free and paid versions of HUDSite, and it also includes a code for you to try the paid version for yourself. The free version is only available on their website, linked below, and the full version is also available through Steam. Checking SteamDB, you'll see just how cheap HUDSite is. In the US, you can expect to pick it up for $6.99, a reasonable price, especially for what you get. But on top of that, you don't have to buy it, that's what the demo version is for. So, how do you download the demo version? All you have to do is head over to hudside.com and click the download installer button at the top. This version doesn't require Steam to be installed to use. Click on it to open it when it is done downloading and follow through with the installation as you would any other program. After it's done, you can launch it up and as soon as the program opens up, you'll be asked for an activation code. You can close this if you don't have an activation code, click try it and you'll immediately be dropped into the demo version. Although, because this video has a little extra bonus in it, if you're interested in trying the full version with all of its features in a game that desperately needs a crosshair, simply click activation, activate software, and use the code free-4-rust as such. Activate online and click OK. You'll also find this code in the description down below to copy and paste. This gives you access to an upgraded demo of sorts until one month has passed from the video's upload date you'll have access to the full version of HUDSite while you're playing Rust. Other games will still be in demo mode. Why Rust? Well, it desperately needs a crosshair to give you a competitive edge, and it's the most requested or sought after topic on my channel when it comes to crosshairs. If you'd like to purchase the full version, you can use the site for the non-Steam version, and your payment will be sent through Exola, the same company that handles payments for sites like Twitch. Or you can, of course, use the Steam page. Without making this video a carbon copy of my previous video, I'll do a light crash course here. But do keep in mind that the more in-depth video is linked down below. Let's jump into some new and updated features. As you can already see, everything's nicely separated into tabs instead of one long list. There's now even a simple image editor built right into HUDSite. This lets you edit crosshairs easier, especially if you don't have photo editing software that supports transparency installed. If you'd like reference for later, you'll find a link to the help document for this feature linked down below. Simply select a crosshair from the brand new crosshair tab. And here, you'll now see previews next to crosshairs on the list instead of just names. Then navigate to the new editor tab where you can edit your crosshair using some simple controls. Using the image size controls, you're able to resize the actual crosshair image, although it must stay even. Cell size lets you define the size of one pixel on your screen for convenience. This is just to make editing easier. Pen color lets you set a color for your pen or mouse to draw below. Either enter raw RGB values or click the color on the right hand side to use a color picker. Simply click and or drag to draw on the crosshair below. Use right click to undo changes in this window. The value under cursor section shows you what color you're currently hovering over in the image below for reference. Once you're happy, you can save your masterpiece or simply start a new one. Heading across to the common tab, previously this program was required to be run in admin mode. However, this is no longer a requirement. On the crosshair tab, you can easily show and hide your crosshair by pressing the key you set here. By default, this is set to a toggle. Set this to hold mode if you'd like to show a crosshair only when, say, holding right click. Use the inverted mode button down here if you'd like to always show a crosshair and then hide it when you hold your key. For example, you'll always have a crosshair and holding right click hides it, allowing you to see through a scope in game properly. The new blacklist tab allows you to blacklist certain programs and applications. If you're worried about certain games and anti-cheats, but want to have the program open in the background, this is where you'd choose what programs HUD site does not place a crosshair on for you. 
But if you'd like, you can also enable whitelist mode so that only programs on this list will have a crosshair. Someone who's super paranoid about anti-cheats like me should always have this on. Among these major changes, there are now also a few more minor changes since the last video worth mentioning. There are more default built-in crosshairs for you to pick from. And if you'd like multiple crosshairs, you can right click on a crosshair on the list and you can bind it to a hotkey. Upon pressing this key, your crosshair will change while you're in game. If you're in a game with specific bullet drop or you'd like different crosshairs for different guns, this is where you'd set it up. You can unset it by right clicking one, setting a key to escape and it'll undo it. Among many other fixes and updates, the interface font and color scheme is now much more readable. And 5M's update that previously blocked or broke a lot of crosses has now been fixed as well. This project is still very well maintained and something I'd definitely at least give a try. Let's quickly test out HUDside in Rust. I'll go ahead and add Rust to the whitelist, which I'm choosing to use. This way I'll always have the crosshair on my screen unless I hold right click to zoom in. Makes perfect sense. In the program, we can change the scale and offsets. For the demonstration, I'll make the crosshair nice and large. Now let's try swapping to different crosshairs. I'll bind this to numpad zero and say this one to numpad one. Hitting one, zero, one, zero, it changes exactly as you'd expect and hope. So once again, if you'd like, you can download the free demo version and use the code free for Rust to get full access to the program while you're playing Rust until one month has passed from the video's upload date. On top of that, you'll find links to HUDSite's website as well as the Steam store page in the description down below. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!